Good morning, this is Tamara Coleman. How are you today? Let's go into prayer. Heavenly Father, God, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we come humbly before your throne, asking you for grace and mercy. Dear God, I love you. I praise you. I worship you. There is no other God like you, and I do love you, Lord God. Thank you for allowing this message to go through successfully. Thank you, Lord God, for the message to be delivered. Allow the people to hear it and not make any judgments, but to receive the message and to know that you are our ultimate God, and if there is no other way around this message and let them receive it and be healed and um, love you for it in jesus name we pray amen it's called the the title of this the message is called in the area of present problems i have i think i should do my testimony first there was a day when um my children were at school and i was home alone I had such a burden to pray. The burden was so heavy upon my body. I, I couldn't even remove it. But I knew that if I stood before the Lord in his presence, that I, um, I believe that it would be lifted. You know, above all things that I've done, uh, when, when God calls you into his presence, you have to give him what he, is, what he wants from you. You know, this is something that you need to do um, as believers uh, of God. When he calls you to pray, you have to pray. Besides, that burden, the pain that I, was, that I felt upon my body was so heavy. I couldn't go anywhere. I had to sit in his presence to find out what he wanted uh, me to hear. And to this day, I do thank him. Okay, so I had asked the Lord a question many years ago. This is like when I was a child, and I, I kept asking him over the, over the time. And I asked him, I said, Lord, you know, I'm not really familiar about, you know, what, you know, what heaven's like, because I've never been there. I've never been to hell. I've heard people's testimonies about how they have gone there, and, um, and they came back. And they, you know, they gave this, they gave very good details of what they have seen and the burdens that they carried because of their experience. And many of them um, walked away with, um, with happiness and some of them walked away with a lot of wounds because if you're seeing something that is not glorious, which is your kingdom, um, they're walking away with a lot of griefs and sorrows, and which carries, and they have to um, testify of the word of God, and they have no peace until they give their um, until they give their um, testimonies, and while they're confessing their sins uh, before you, the burden is still there. They can't seem to um, let go of that testimony because it was a true experience. So here's my experience um, on that topic. I've been asking the Lord um, something small, but I said, Lord, why is it that you know you you allowed hell to be? Why did you create it? Why did you want it? Why is that people, you know? Um, you know, know of it, and, and yet they don't seem to want to escape from it. Um, and then I was, I kept saying to the Lord, Lord, I don't want it. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to know about it. This is something that I don't want to, I don't want to talk about. But I just had it in me to keep asking God, like, why, if there is such a place, why won't you allow people to come out from there and repent because they've had been tortured enough. They have been tortured. Like within the hour that they've been there, they, they, uh, the, the screaming, the hollering, the, the, the agony, the, everything that, that the word of God says that it is, it is. Um, I didn't have no infat inf infatuation about it. I don't want to know anything more about it. But I just wanted to know why he wouldn't allow the people to leave. And the Lord spoke to me one day because uh, he chose to, not because of anything else. It's because he chose to. And he said to me while I was on the floor with heaviness 
it wasn't moving, it wasn't lifting. And the Lord spoke to me with a very strong, stern voice. And it was so stern that I knew I needed not to ask any more questions in that area. My question was, Lord, why you won't allow the people who are who is in hell to be, to come up and to repent of their sins? Why won't you allow them to um, get saved? Why won't you allow them to to, um, to be a testimony to others so they will not go to this horrible place? Now this is before I got stronger in the Lord and knew more about the word of God. And the Lord spoke to me very sternly and he said, my judgment has been set. So I backed off. The weight left me and I sat down and I cried. Well, let's just go into the word of God again. I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's something that, um, but I needed to say, it's been on my spirit for the last couple of days. And I know I'm always having these testimonies. I'm always having something to talk about, right? Well, this is my life. And this is who God is. And this is who Tamara is. And God shows me to, to go through these experiences and so I give it and I tell it just as it is. I'm not going to say anything more because that was just the end of that conversation. Let's just read. In the, pres in the area of present problems, Satan, it is written, I have favor with God and man. Proverbs 3, 4 and Luke 2, 52. No weapon formed against me shall prosper and whatsoever I will do will prosper. Isaiah 54, 17, and Psalms 1, 3. In Jesus' name, Satan, I take authority over you, and I bind you from anything that you have set against me. It is written in Isaiah 54, 17, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. It is written in Romans 8, 31, 32, and 37. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. In the name of Jesus, I condemn any words that have been spoken against me, and no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I have favor with God and man according to the word of God in Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you and praise you that I'm healed, prosperous, worry-free, and delivered from all of my enemies in Jesus' name. Let's take authority over, over anything that you're facing. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever say, he saith. Mark eleven twenty three, and that is salvation as well. Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall bind on this earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Matthew 18, 18. Or else... How can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he shall spoil his house? Matthew 12, 29. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils, and they shall speak new tongues, they shall take up serpents. If they, if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover, Mark 16, 17, 18. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he shall flee from you, James 4, 7. Behold, 
I give unto you the power to tread upon serpents and, and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall be uh, by any means hurt you. Luke 10, 19. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Ephesians 6, 17. Wherefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should, should bow and things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Philippians 2, 9-11. And that answered my question. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in faith, knowing that the same affliction and accomplish, uh, uh, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. First Peter five eight nine. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son? You have to read that in Colossians 1.13. And having spoiled principalities, powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Colossians 2.15. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In the name shall they cast out devils, and they shall speak with new tongues. Mark 16.17. If you are in the Lord and you are questioning whether these testimonies that I had given you, you're just going to have to find out through yourself. You're going to have to go on to get on your hands and knees. You're going to have to pray. You're going to have to ask God if anything that Tamara Coleman has gone through, is it true? Is it real? Has she experienced these things? You stay there until the Lord gives it to you. He will give you the answer. He will not hide anything from you. And you will you will receive it. You will you will know it's true. I speak not of myself. I speak only of the Lord. And I'm here to comfort you as a friend, as a as a sister in Christ, to let you know that you are a strong person. You are here to serve the Lord as well as I am. And we will follow the Lord until He calls us all home. So you stay blessed. Stay in Christ, stay under the word of God, and you will be saved and you will be filled with his joy and his love and his kindness and all of the things that he has for you. Remember, speak only of what God has given you. Testify only about the word of God. Do not give any false replications. Do not speak of anything to build yourself up. And to, and to, so you can get rich, so you can have a better house, so you can have a fan base. Stay humble, stay in the Lord, and you will be surprised how the Lord will use you and how the Lord will speak to you and how he will um, give you the strength to endure um, what's to come in your direction. I love you. I am here for you if you need any prayer. Leave a comment down below, and I will make sure that I get back to you as soon as possible. God bless. I love you.